What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. I, Phil, am from Germany and Diana is from the United States. And in this video we're gonna try German street food in Berlin. Let's do that. Alright, so for breakfast, first stop that we're doing is the classical Berlin Berliner. Berliner. We got that at the Bäckerei Siebert, which says on the outside, it was, it's a pretty famous one and says on the outside, the oldest bakery in Berlin, established in 1906. So that thing is over 100 years old. So I hope yeah. they know what they do. Uh, my favorites usually are the powdered ones with strawberry or raspberry filling. And we have glazed ones with chocolate filling and cherry and I think I never had cherry so the chocolate one sh should be a little bit like a donut right yeah so that place was pretty busy yeah it was amazed how busy it was especially well I guess it's a Saturday so obviously it's really busy but it's closed on Sunday and Monday so everyone's getting their last minute bakery items this in. is so sticky okay oh it looks so good I'm so jealous oh wow wow look at that dough mm. dude wow I immediately, I did not even get a bite of cherry, but the dough is so much better than all the cheaper ones I usually get. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so Phil's, oh wait, yeah, mm. is it good? Dude, I love those. Every time when we were in Southeast Asia, Phil would always, always get these. Oh yeah, Dunkin' Donuts, They're, right? I, I just called them donuts with jelly in it, and I didn't, like, he's obsessed with these. But they don't call them Berliners here, they call them Pfannkuchen, right? Mm. That's funny to me, yep. They're labeled Pfannkuchen. I guess in Berlin they call them Pfannkuchen. Everywhere else, I'm from like Lower Saxony in the South, Göttingen area. We call them Berliner. Dude, the, uh, the cherry filling is so good. I do not like cherries at all, but this stuff is awesome. Mm, wow. It's good. Such a, I don't know if I want to give you half of this. Excuse me, you better, because I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> right, I'm going to go for the chocolate one right away. I hope I don't drop anything. It's pretty wobbly. I will kill you. You drop them. Oh, mm. this chocolate, chocolate one. Chocolate bite right away. This is torture. Why do you get the first bites of the chocolate donut deliciousness? Oh, look at it. Mm. It's like oozing out. It looks like Nutella coming mm. out, but lighter. It doesn't taste like Nutella. It's definitely a lighter chocolate. It's a very different chocolate taste. This one is very good too. I prefer the cherry one slightly. One more bite and it's your turn. Baby, look, are, are you kidding me? All right, your turn. Before you eat anything, Diana complains I ate more than half. But I feel like I did a good job, didn't I? No, I feel like this is something I should always eat first because you always eat more and this is all I care about, the sugary dough. I'm gonna try this one. Oh no. Mm. Yes. Mmm. Ooh, that looks good. It's awesome. It's perfect, it's not too sweet. It's uh, very flavorful too. Oh. You keep dripping. I feel like with cherry, the reason you don't like it a lot is because sometimes cherry can be too tart and it kind of overtakes the, the oh, pastry. Yeah. But this is perfect. It's not too sweet and it's not too tart. It's awesome. Dude, this is the best combination. Uh, I think I give this a 10 out of 10. This is my stuff. This is my jam. Literally, this is my cherry jam. It's a good start for the Berlin street food. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just crying how good it is. It's just so touching. No, my eyes are really watering. <laughs> Dude, it tastes very familiar. Mm -hmm. Like the, the chocolate that's in croissants. Mm -hmm. Croissant. A croissant avec chocolat. This is good. I really like this. I think it's a perfect combination to have both the cherry and the chocolate one. Which one do you like better? I think I like the cherry the better. Yeah, the better. cherry is slightly better. Berliner has to be fruity and uh, otherwise it's becoming a donut. All right, so that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised actually. Um, I love Berliners. I forgot how much I love them. This is definitely an awesome one. Yeah. One thing as a kid we always saw and what I always remember is uh, JFK in Berlin having that speech, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, ich bin ein Berliner. And uh, as a kid it was, I was like, ha 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 ha, he says, I'm a pancake, I'm a pastry. I'm ich a bin ein Berliner. <laughs> of course it means person from Berlin, but it's like to us, it's, it's just as much associated with this pastry. And uh, it's funny. So yeah. I always uh, remembered that JFK approved. Yeah, I could just be like, ich bin ein Pfannkuchen. 
So that was a pretty good start, but we're gonna head on and yeah, uh, head out for lunch soon. That's the mark high. Yeah. Food day. <laughs> Get ready for lunch. Yeah. Ich hätte gerne einmal die kleine Currywurst mit Pommes und einmal eine Boulette mit Kartoffelsalat. Was ist das denn hier für Zu Ihrem Pommes denn noch Ketchup, Mayo, Weines? Weines. So, we come to Alright, so this Knopke Imbiss is apparently very famous in Berlin. I think it was the first one that sells the Currywurst in Eastern Berlin since 1960 or something like that. I'm just gonna go in and see how it is. We got a Currywurst with mayonnaise and ketchup. We also got a pork meatball with potato salad. Mm. Oh, it tastes a little different than the normal currywurst I usually get. Um, they say they have their own recipe of currywurst and their sauce. It looks a little paler than I'm used to, but it's definitely good. I like it a lot. All right, I'm gonna start with the currywurst, and I always think this is the stereotypical German food. When I think a lot of Americans, when they think of German food, they think of like, oh, bratwurst, currywurst, like that's what comes to mind. And this is what uh, Berlin is known for. It's on every street corner, I feel like, a currywurst or a duna stand. Duna, duna. Oh, wow, it's sweeter than the other ones we've had, I feel like. Yeah, we had a super spicy one last year, so maybe that's what I'm comparing it to. Yeah, the sauce itself tastes sweeter, and it smells sweeter than the other currywurst. I don't eat a lot of currywurst, so I'm really not an expert, but I think it tastes good. Think. Good fries. <laughs> Phil loves fries, so he's the, the fry expert to go to. All right, so the meatball with the potato salad, I didn't even know they had those. Um, you can get it as a curry meatball, too. It looks more like a patty. When I think of a meatball, I think of a little round. Yeah, yeah. the mustard version here. With zim. Oh. Wow. Well, yeah, it tastes stronger than I expected. It's good. I'm not sure I might like this one even better than the curry ones. Really? Wow. I don't know. Und die Kartoffelsalat? D or D? Dare, das, whatever. Dare. Dare. Is it vinegar based? Uh, yeah. I'm not convinced about the potato salad. Um, it's good. It's vinegar and oil or whatever, but um, I do not like the mayonnaise ones normally or the yogurt ones. So this one is normally what I like, but... Uh, it's not your favorite? The one my grandma made was definitely better. <laughs> Oma's recipe is better. Yeah, but I like it. I think the best combo for me might be the meatball with the french fries because the french fries are spot on, they're awesome. You can smell it instantly, as soon as Phil cut into it, you could smell uh, the just the meat flavor came out, it nice. Ooh, you can taste the onions too. You doubled down there. <laughs> Putting it all in there. The Schwiebel tastes nice. <laughs> That's my stuff, I like the meatball. It's weird. The meatball. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ikea. I think this is better than the Ikea meatball we tried. It's better. <laughs> we just finished a uh, curry vest. It was, uh, it was pretty good. I think for me personally, I'm not like a crazy big currywurst person. I think my favorite currywurst was when we did the challenge just because it was a spice level challenge. But it was actually surprisingly light. Like the currywurst itself wasn't heavy. It wasn't as heavy and hearty as I expect a lot of the other currywurst to be. So not bad. We're gonna get lunch number two now. Dinner. Are you ready? <laughs> Full eating day. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be lunch number two. Um, we had K-Ups, I think. K-Ups. In, I think, the Prenzlauer Berg area. This one looks good. One thing I notice immediately when they make it and then when I look at the ingredients, it looks so fresh and good. Everything yeah. looks so yummy. Each ingredient looks so good. And where we from where we are from, they're not 
as many kebab places that are that highly ranked and I think this is the difference it looks yeah. amazing I think the turnover is really high here and when you were looking at like all the salad things it's such a bright green and all the vegetables that they've grilled were coming out constantly yeah so the difference what they do to the traditional kebabs is these veggie things like there's a uh, little potato grilled slices. yeah grilled carrots. potato slices carrots and other stuff yeah it looks awesome I'm just gonna dig in I don't know how I think I'm gonna <laughs> spill half of it this is what Phil lives for Mm. <laughs> you have one bite. He's mm -hmm. getting things all over his beard lately. Dude, it's so good. I know for nine. Mine also. I'm dropping things. Dude, it's immediately so good. Um, it reminds me of Mustafa's kebab, which we did last year, one and a half years ago. It just different like I don't know if it's the feta cheese that is on the top but it tastes very fresh every ingredient is awesome they only have one meat option it's all chicken kebabs they don't have veal or lamb or anything else and I think it's amazing this is immediately as it's one of the best I have ever had really? seriously yeah holy crap I, we weren't, I don't know. We weren't expecting that. We had pretty high expectations because of Gamuz or Mustafa's last time. I'm surprised also there is a vicious breed beside you. Oh my god <laughs> Good? I can't tell which is better. This is definitely one of the best kebabs I've ever had. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> no. Our theory was that maybe in Berlin, since this is where the Döner originated, maybe the average quality is higher. So to 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 maintain your place here, you have to be at a good quality level. Exactly. Yeah. I think just an average you get very good kebabs here and. Uh, this is one of the two best I've ever had in my life, seriously. This is it, looks good. I have high expectations because you had such high praise for this din dinner, dinner. <laughs> mm-hmm, okay. I don't wanna give my opinion yet. <laughs> if you hate it, at least I can eat it, but then we have to break up. Dude, I think, um, I think the vegetable combo is perfect. And I don't think you normally get peppers in Dunas, do you? Yeah, yeah I, this is a grilled pepper here. And I feel like it's not normally in there. Yeah, that's the It's awesome. Veggies. I love it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because it's called gemuse kebab. Doesn't mean vegetable kebab. It's yeah, yeah. normal yeah, yeah. kebab with gemuse. vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was wondering where all my gemuse went because I think you ate them all. We had another one yesterday near Alexanderplatz. I agree with you. I think just the standard here is way higher than some of the other cities that we've gone to. If you had like a 3.5 rating here in Berlin, it would be the equivalent of like a four star one in another city just because I think the standard is so high here. Yeah. I haven't had a, I really haven't had a bad one yet. I think the combination of fresh, fresh vegetables and grilled vegetables is just fantastic. It's a perfect ratio too. I hate when they make a kebab and it's like all meat and then all your vegetables are down here and then all the sauces at the bottom or something. Is that the best one you've ever had? I don't know. I have to have a side-by-side -side comparison with Mustafa's because I really like that one. It's good. Phil said I wasn't enthusiastic enough about it, but don't get me wrong. I think this is one of the best kebabs I've ever had. Dunas. One of the best dunas. But the question is, which is better, a duna or a durum? The durums are like the ones that kind of look like burritos. They're in the thin, longer, the rolled, ones, rolled yeah. ones. And if you watched last year's video from uh, the other kebab place yeah. in Berlin, we like the durum a tiny bit better. Yeah. It's all awesome. It's all about the ratio. I think with the with the durum, you almost always get that perfect ratio yeah. of like with every bite and then having the fresh vegetables with the grilled vegetables is perfection. I'm already starting to look up for apartments in the uh, neighborhood here. <laughs> because if I live there, I don't need a kitchen. You know, I just eat there. Every day. It's awesome. I don't think this is on our budget. <laughs> All right, so those were some of the Berlin street food we decided to try on this trip. Obviously, there are so many different places to try, but yeah. we only have so much time and so much room in our stomachs. Yeah, there's always room for another kebab. <laughs> I also think those were three of the staples, the Berliner, the yeah. original, uh, the currywurst, very famous in Berlin, and the kebab, my favorite. I think that was Dude. so good. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite Berlin or German street food is. If you have any other suggestions what we could try, let us know also. And we're gonna end the video here. Woo! Love bike See you next time. Bye. Bye.